We are back right now with our exclusive coverage from Puerto Rico. Nearly two months have passed and many cities are still reeling after the devastating earthquakes. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell has been documenting the stories from the southern part of the island where tent communities still exist. It is hard to imagine that this happened nearly two months ago because the reality in some parts of the island would suggest this happened yesterday. We have dozens who are still living in tent communities, businesses, homes, some of them completely destroyed, and many are wondering why they're literally stranded on an island with little relief in sight. I'm scared because he's shaking every day. He hasn't stopped. That is why Abraham Nazario can't live in his home in Ponce. Instead, he lives outside in the backyard in this tent. A lot of people is doing is going to through, through this. I mean, they they have tents like that too. When Hurricane Maria hit in 2017, most of the island saw damage. It took the roof off of Abraham's second floor. When the earthquake shook in early January, the southern part of Puerto Rico felt it most, including Ponce. It cracked the foundations of Abraham's home all on his 75th birthday. His son, Iran, was there to celebrate and begged his parents to return to Connecticut with him. They declined. They love their home, they love where they're from, and um, they wanted to stay. Today, members from Hartford's Puerto Rican Day Parade flew down to make a direct impact. They're visiting some of the town's hardest hit, including Guanila, Yauco, and Juanica. We asked the family what is needed, and basically what they need is um, stove. We purchased some, some stove, a gas stove, um, some cleaning supplies, and especially, believe it or not, was it, is in need off, you know, because as, as you know, some of the families sleeping outside. The Nazarios are one of the families receiving this box. We do feel it, and we can't. Be, they can't be forgotten, the people of the island. Also representing Connecticut is AmeriCares. The Stanford-based organization is saving lives by ensuring those who need medicine or medical treatment don't have any lapses at a time when everything else is in chaos. Since Maria, they've delivered 40 shipments of medication. Representing millions of dollars. In this response alone, just since January 6, we have been able to ship $3.6 million worth of medications and supplies. While this is bad, there are signs that things are getting better. Tonight, there are 66 people sleeping in these tent communities. That's down from 306 at the height of this disaster. We're here in Sabana Grande. Matthew Campbell, Channel Thirteen News.